Good morning guys, we're here in the kitchen of the Nutmeg Tree. It's a great place to stay, room and board. Also a good place to do diving. Uh, it's a dive center where you can come and get your gear, load up on your tanks and then head out. Uh, the organizers here are super friendly, so do check them out. Uh, we're here in Indonesia, in a place called Banda Nera. And this morning, Mario and I have taken up the challenge to scale up the big one. Mario and I are gonna climb that baby over there. Kasipa. Okay. We've decided to start early so that it's still cool in the morning. Uh, both of us have actually walked the Camino. Me in uh, August of 2012 and he walked it 1999, August. So um, this would be a similar adventure. So it's off to that island right now. Oh yeah. I don't know why, this feels like a Disneyland ride. <laughs> Okay, so after a five minute journey, international time, we are here uh, at the foot of uh, the volcano. Once again, I'm with Mario Linares from Portugal. Okay, straight up. It says, be careful, volcano. 5.45, here we go. Are we there yet? <laughs> we hear that the slope is uh, at a 45 degree angle. In the morning, there's a lot of dew. So very carefully, we have to walk through all this all these leaves. Um, no snakes at this point, no wild boars. So, all good, yeah. Okay, we have no clue where we are right now. It's, there, are no, there are signs, but it doesn't really say how high up we are. The sun is slowly peeking through uh, the foliage right there. Yeah, how are you feeling, man? I'm, I'm really fresh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't you see? <laughs> yeah. So now I know what it feels like taking a shower in sweat or perspiration. Yep. We're taking a quick break. Well, we passed by the first pit stop. It was like a little house, a little concrete hut. Um, yeah. Um, the the slope became steeper and uh, slipperier, so we made makeshift. Um, bamboo sticks to bring us up. Uh, when you're walking with sticks, it takes off 15% uh, of your entire body weight. And yes, we are sketchers, so we're carrying sketching equipment. Um, and also we needed at some point um, to grab onto these to help us up the track. Uh, it's just really peaceful up here. Taking another quick stop for a granola bar provided by Helen from the group. This is what she looks like. She can't join us, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, those of you who wish to see the entire trail, I am sorry. My hands are tied. This is the best that I can do. But enjoy the rest of the journey. Ah, more friends. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Where are you visiting from? From, from France. From France. Yes. Yeah. My accent, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and you? Uh, Singapore. Singapore. And, and you, Singapore? Sure. No. Portugal. Oh. Nice place. Yeah. And nice food. Bacalao. 
Feijoada. Ah, o feijoada. Pão. Pino verde. E também tem um pequeno cake. Ah, pastel. Pastel do Nato. Não é tempo para falar sobre isso. Ah, sim, sim. Espera, espera, espera. Espera, espera. Are we there yet? <laughs> Just when we thought that we're going really slow, look at that. A good reminder in life. And he's carrying his entire house. Or she. <laughs> 8.20am. And we're taking a long break here. I think it's the backpack that's weighing us down. I'm having a cassava. Or taro. Didn't really have breakfast before the climb. Delicious. It's like ice cream cheesecake. <laughs> so guys, we are finally here at the top. Woohoo! Almost. Almost. Uh, I'm gonna leave this stick here so that uh, we know where the path is to go down uh, because you can get pretty lost without any signs or navigation around here. Beautiful! So there's a little pass here. So exciting! The sun is not beating down on us right now so that's that's really good. It was earlier on, but yeah, um, we're just thankful for the moment, yes. Kaba, 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 kaba. Always wanted to do that. It's 8:50 a.m. in the morning. We started off at 5:45, so yeah, three hours uh, with our backpacks filled with sketching stuff. Yeah, it was worth the climb. See that steam coming out from the the rocks. The ground feels really warm and it's not because of the sun. Uh, it's only 8.50 in the morning. It's uh, from inside the ground, the magma. So we're finally up here, away from the rest of the group. Now you can tell me what you really think about USK Indonesia. <laughs> Airplane, look. Where, where, oh! You should film. Yeah. Now I know why every time when I fly a drone, it says restricted zone. Because of the airport right there. The runway, duh. But check it out, plane is landing. Which one is the plane? Which one are the boats? And which one are the birds? What was your experience like climbing up here? Mario, Dinyarish. I thought it, were, it was more easy. <laughs> Definitely. It was really difficult. Really, uh, some parts we need to be careful, otherwise, but the view and the fact that we are up here, it's very peaceful. So cool, so nice, yeah. Um, I was thinking about what we were carrying in our backpacks. 
um, our art stuff, our, our passion. And uh, I think like the climb up, sometimes it's just going to be uh, um, difficult, especially for those of you starting out in art. When you have pushed on and overcome all the obstacles, there will be help along the way. I had Mario's help, had the ferns and the roots and all that to pull myself up and the rocks to step on uh, when we were in soft sand. A lot of help will be there on the way to get you up there, but just push on and, and then you get to enjoy this. We're done for the sketch um, and to think that going down is not so difficult oh man <laughs> yeah it's gonna be tough we'll, we'll figure it out see you at the foot yes. <laughs> so we made it um, on a scale from 1 to 10 mm. All of us, including the French couple, rate this route or track um, an 8 out of 10. Coming down, yeah. So it was 3 hours going up and 3 hours coming down and uh, remembering that we are carrying art materials. Uh, this is not for the faint-hearted. If you're an avid hiker, yeah, you may, but bring at least 2 litres of water. I'm dying of thirst right now and there are no shops on this side. So I have to head back to Bandanera. It's doable, but it's painful, especially the second part, the second leg of the journey where it's all ash and rubble and small stones. You just slip. I, I slip like a million times. I need water. Okay, our ride is here. Let's go to freshwater land. Sort of like a nasi lemak, nasi kuning with uh, some kuih kuih and uh, spicy cinnamon. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg in there. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm gonna stay here for a while. Check out the view.